Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today what I'm going to do is to show you how to do a time machine backup onto the QNAP drive. So I'm going to be assuming that you have the QNAP NAS set up already. If you haven't set this up already, then I'll make sure to leave a link in the description for my QNAP macOS tutorial. So it's going to show you how to set up the entire QNAP NAS, no matter which one you've got. Install QTS, QFinder, set up network shares, volume mounting, etc. So you kind of need to have that step done before we can move on to the next step. So assuming that we have everything running, we're going to log into our particular NAS. So I'm logged into my one here. And then what I'm going to do is to go into control panel. And what we're going to do is to create a new shared drive. So within privilege here, we're going to go ahead and click on shared folders. And then this is going to open up the shared folder list. So these are my shared folders at the moment. And what you want to do is to create a dedicated time machine drive within the shared folders. So I want to create a new shared folder here. And then we're going to give this a name. So I'm going to call this one time machine. You can call it whatever you like. And then what I'm going to do once we've done this is to press the next button here. Make sure that this is ticked on your user, then press next. And then what we're going to do is to make sure to set this folder as a time machine backup folder. So when this is enabled, we must empty the recycle bin regularly to ensure that there's enough space to back up the system settings. So make sure that this is turned on and then press the finish button. So this is going to create our time machine backup folder. So time machine backup folder is completed. If I go to my QFinder Pro, which I've installed, what I'm going to do is to go to select my NAS, click on Network Drives, press OK. And then I'm going to add my mounted folders here. And now I have this new Time Machine folder here, which I'm going to mount. And that's completely mounted here. So basically, it means that we can now use this as a Time Machine backup destination. So now what we're going to do is go into Time Machine Settings, go to Finder, go to Applications, and then we're going to scroll down and find Time Machine. So this is the Time Machine icon, double click. And it says here we have not selected a location for Time Machine backups. So we're going to click Set Up Time Machine. And uh, this is also found within General System Settings as well. If we go to System Settings here, and then we go to General, and then we can find Time Machine Settings here. So now what we want to do is to add a backup disk. So click on this, type in our administrator password. And then we have the ability to time machine onto the shared folder that we've mounted here. Highlight the shared folder and then click on Setup Disk. So here we're just going to type in the username and password we've set up for the QNAP drive, then press Connect. So you have the option here to encrypt data, which I do suggest that you do. Then make sure to type in a password as well. So once you've typed in the password twice, then go ahead and press Done. So you can see the time machine backup icon here. It's saying that it's going to do a next backup in 50 seconds. We also have options here you can tweak as well. It's also a good idea to add folders to exclude from backup so you don't accidentally fill up the backup drive with lots of junk. I can also manually back up here by clicking the backup button and then it's going to automatically start the backup process. Anyway, that is how you do Time Machine Backup on QNAP drives. If you're confused about how to set this up at all, then make sure to click on the link in the description for my QNAP Mac tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.